Hi, I'm Maria, and today I'm going to be making a maple quick bread with whole grain flour. So this is a white whole wheat flour and an oat flour. The oat flour is a little clumpy, so we're going to whisk this all together with salt, kosher salt is what I prefer, and baking powder. I just want to whisk that to get the lumps out. And you want to mix the baking powder in so you don't get like a, a little clump of baking powder, which would then turn into a little weird pocket in your bread. All right, now we do the liquids. This is milk. I'm actually using skim milk. You could use whole milk, you could use buttermilk, whatever you like. Adding one egg. Get that whisked together first. And then we're adding maple syrup. This is a grade A amber. Grade B would also be awesome. Love this thing. Bloop. Just like that. A little bit of oil. You could also use melted butter if you like. Whisk that together again. And then I have raisins. These are totally optional. I've chopped them a little bit so you get small pieces because I have a little kid and she can't eat the big pieces. So there you go. All right, that's whisked together. This goes in like this. And because we have half oat flour, which has very little gluten, you don't have to worry about overmixing this, which is sometimes a problem with quick breads and, and muffins. So we just get this all together. All right, just like that. Now, this pan has been sprayed with a little oil. You could also grease it with butter if you want to. Just drop it in there, and then it's going to bake 350 degrees for about an hour, like 60 to 70 minutes. You want it to pass the toothpick test, which means if you stick a toothpick in the middle, you don't want it to have any gooiness when it comes back out. Just like that, super quick. Here's the maple bread out of the oven. I let it cool for about 10 minutes before I turn it out just so it doesn't fall apart. Just like that. There you go. Ready for brunch.